today we're going to talk about what I bought for the month of July. I've already revealed some of them, so it's kind of just like everything else that I've kind of collected or that's come in over the last couple of weeks that I haven't done videos about. Just all of the hodgepodge, a Nordstrom anniversary sale update, and just, you know, some random stuff. So if you're wanting to go into a haul, stick around. Hey there, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about trading yourself a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, favorite fragrance, skincare, handbags, anything that makes you feel a little bit better about yourself because you deserve to treat yourself to something nice. You work hard in anything that you do. So whatever makes you happy, you know, just give yourself a little, little something. So, uh, July did some shopping, did a little, probably too much shopping. I really need to bring it back a little bit. I'm going to be going to uh, Chicago in October and I'm hoping to do some damage over there. And I think I just need to cut down a little bit, but it was a Nordstrom anniversary sale. There were some other sales happening, just some things just happened. So as we do, we spend money and they've all pretty much come in at this point. Um, I've already done a couple of videos for the random things that I felt the need to share about, but everything here right now is everything I haven't shared so far, or maybe isn't really what warrants their own video. But anyway, I thought I would go ahead and do a collective roundup of what we bought for the month. And I'm going to start out with the Nordstrom anniversary sale and what catastrophe that was. <laughs> So I don't want to be continuous to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm just not, I'm just not thrilled with the sale anymore. And I, I bought a few things, but for the most part, it was just like, eh, okay, I'll just go ahead and buy it. Cause I have a couple of notes to spend and I, I bought the bare minimum, a couple of things I was interested in, they were sold out of. So it just was kind of annoying. So I picked up a couple of things. They arrived, they were shipped in this bag which again, I probably should just go out to the store, but you know, I, I won't, I won't get too bad much into the, um, quality of the, the shipping, but it, it was, it left lots to be desired. But, um, one item they were sold out of almost immediately, which kind of surprised me was this, uh, detangling brush from Tangle Teaser. They had a special set for $23 that had, um, a pink brush and then a little mini, uh, travel one. And it was $23. So it was sold out the minute I had access that it wasn't there anymore. And I was just like, well, that's gotta be somewhere else where I can find it. Went on to Amazon, found, purple, which is my favorite color for $15. And they had a set of two for $21, two full size ones. And you could get a travels one as well, but all of them were much cheaper than the Nordstrom anniversary sale one it is the brand. Um, so honestly, I, it was a better deal. So I am more than happy that I bought it there. Um, similarly, I went to the cosmetic, um, company outlet around the 4th of July with my friend and picked up some goodies there. And the one thing that I picked up there, and I've got several of them, but I just left one of them still intact was this set right here. And I mentioned it in the Nordstrom video that the giant, I think they're leaders that were in the Nordstrom video, they had them, um, I thought was a decent price in the sale, but this was $33. And you've got actually not only the shampoo and conditioner, but also the um, invisible oil primer spray, which is also a detangling spray, heat protectant spray. So this whole set was $33 at the Cosmetic Company outlet. They are eight ounce, I believe, 8.5 ounce shampoo and the spray, and then a 6.7 ounce conditioner. Um, got three of these sets for the price of one bottle of the anniversary sale. And I think that was a pretty good deal. Actually, I should say 
two was the price of one bottle and then the other one half of the the other one but i had the equivalent i believe amount of product of two bottles so anywho picked that up relatively cheap and was happy about that and then was that it for anniversary sales elsewhere i believe that was it for what i bought elsewhere everything else i got from nordstrom so i picked up the la mer set and i ended up getting the luminous renewal skincare set which has the moisturizing soft cream so i got that version of it which i always pick up pick up one of them for the sale and then i picked up this i don't believe i did mention in the video being on my wish list but i've heard really good things about this brand so i picked up the um body wash duo from necessaire i've heard really nice things about this brand so i went ahead and picked up that and then the last thing i picked up was um something i just kind of mentioned that i was considering getting and it came in, again in the bag and it got all smushed so i'm glad that it came in that smells funny um i'm glad that it came in a box because if it hadn't I think it would be a lot more damaged. Um, so the box took the brunt of the damage, which is good. But I'm also disappointed that yeah, it was packaged that way. But this was the one I mentioned that there were several blingy purses that um, were of interest. And this was the one that looked like the Kelly bag. And I'm sorry that, oh my God, this really smells. Good Lord. That's disappointing. Heavy glue smell. This is the silver. Wow. That's intense. Let's see if I can get it out. You can see why it's, um, oh wow, it's still sticky. Oh, that's disappointing. Hopefully that settles real soon. It's been really warm, so it might have just melted the glue, but oh my lord. That's, that's not good. I mean, at least Norton has a really good um, return policy, but I'm a little bit afraid of how sticky this is, how that's gonna end up. So I'll let that air out for a few weeks. I'm not gonna wanna carry that as it is. It's really sticky. That's really disappointing. Has the chain. I mean, it's real cute, but that, wow. Like I said, really cute, but I am displeased with that feeling. It's sticky all down the side, everywhere. That's really, really disappointing. I, I would hope that they would have done a better quality control on that. I mean, I'll have to, paper and everything out. That's just really, really disappointing. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to be a, a better, better reveal than it was. So, okay. Uh, had to take a moment there because that was, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the rest of the, um, outlet jaunt that I did. So I'm just kind of uh, get through that. So company, company outlet. Um, so I purchased quite a bit of hair care. They gave me this cute little um, toiletry bag, whatever you want to call it, with a bunch of samples. So that was really nice. Just a plethora of, of items. Oh, a brush. Bobby Brown brush. Dual sided conceal and set brush. Oh, there's some Pretty nice sample. So that came in there, and then I bought a um, Jo Malone candle. So that 
was fun. And then I had already done a video on the coach outlet purchase I had made, but I bought something else while I was there. So I bought this little um, pouch that's very much like the toiletry 19 from Louis Vuitton. I'll link the video. Um, but while I was there, I was there with my girlfriend and she picked up one of these little card cases. And I believe the, I think she got the pink. Yes, yeah, she got the pink. And then I ended up finding a black and gray one. And that was tempting, but I don't have any card cases in this kind of taupey brown. So I went ahead and picked up this color. It was $26.52 after all the discounts that were happening. Original price, $78. I think it's really, um, it feels like really nice leather. So it's got uh, two slots on each side and then the one center compartment. So I thought that was really, really pretty and picked that one up for a steal in my opinion. And then of course moseyed over to Luxury Beauty and they were having quite a decent um, sale. I needed a new um, bronzer, so picked up that from Urban Decay. And then they were having a monstrous clearance on um, YSL Beauty, a lot of YSL Beauty. I was really kind of surprised. And I had gotten a bunch of these um, as samples through Sephora last year. So this is the new skin tints. And I ended up getting um, the Glow in Balm, Bare Look Tint and Halo Tint Highlighter. And I believe they were like 10 bucks each, maybe 20 each. So the highlighter was $14.50. The Glow and Balm was $11.50. The Bare Look Tint was $19. So a little bit more. And then this bronzer set from Urban Decay was $18. So really, I got good prices for the items. I think the regular price was, what, $44 for the look tint, $39 for the balm, and I don't have the regular price for the rosy tint on here. Does not say. The regular price of the Urban Decay was $38, so I will, find, I will put it on the screen if I find the, the regular price for them. So that was fun. And... What else? I've already unboxed that book right here. So I'll link that video. I picked up that book a couple weeks ago. Um, what else? I talked about a fragrance fail. I've already done that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here that I don't have in front of me that I need to share. The last um, makeup item that I have to share is I picked up the Hollow Taco 5th Anniversary set of color changing nail polishes. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing an older color, but I'm, I just got this in. So I'm really excited to um, play with these. I'll insert the picture of what they look like and um, how fun they are. Cause it just, I just thought they were, it was so cute. So um, I think I have gotten every single one of their anniversary collections, if not, I might have skipped one of them, but I'm pretty sure I've gotten every single one of them. I'm, I'm a big fan. If you know, if you watch my channel, you know that I have a lot of Hollow Taco, but I'm a really big fan of her collection. So I had to pick up that. And last but not least, I got a couple of bags. Actually, I got a few bags. You know, just <laughs> These are the two that I haven't uh, talked about at all. And they are from the Reed Quake Off line. And I got them both pre-loved from a couple different sources. Um, this one, I believe, I believe this was eBay. Yes, this was eBay. So this is the East West Atlantic. I want to say Transatlantic. Craig, correct me because Craig's the, the expert on that. So this is in a patent, um, like nude pink kind of color. Absolute steal, got it for $40 all in with shipping and everything. So it needs a little bit of love, needed to uh, clean up some of the scratches on it, but overall it has the tag and it looks really clean on the inside. It 
was, I thought, in pretty decent condition considering. So I went ahead and picked it up, even though um, patent leather isn't necessarily my favorite, um, especially in a big bag. I don't mind so much in like these little clutch things. Those are usually really fun. Um, and then I think I have one other like small leather good that's in a uh, paint and leather as well. And I had an agenda as well. So it's like small things I like to have, but this, I'm always afraid I'm going to damage it and, and destroy it, but it thought for the price, <laughs> no big deal. Um, and I think this is big enough to probably carry the work stuff. So really big slip pockets here and then over here, another one. Um, so I really liked that. It has the magnetic one here in the front. Um, side pockets as well. So a lot of really usable storage. So I want to pick up another one of these in, um, you know, a basic kind of color, maybe a brown, um, but knowing me, it's going to be in black because I buy everything in black. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really liking this brand, but I know it's becoming harder to find good quality ones. So that is the Transatlantique. And then the next one I picked up, I feel like I robbed the real real, but it, it needs a little bit of work. I'll be honest with you. So it came in this horrible dust bag. <laughs> Let's just be blunt. It needs, it needs some love because it, it's seen better days, especially in its, in its color tone. But, um, I bought this one for work and I'm like, it, Knowing that it's for work and the way I'm going to beat it up for work, I wasn't as worried that it was in not the best condition. But this is the, um, if I remember correctly, uniform bag. And it comes with a crossbody strap. It's got this, um, the luggage tag. So it's like a bicolor, I guess is the way to describe it. Oh, the zipper's fabulous. Um, really nice strap for it it's just so roomy it's got feet um on the back it's got like as if you had to go like a card holder or a ticket holder right here so if you had to like park um or take like the metro or whatever you could put your card back there a nice pocket for your phone back there if you wanted to a big zip pocket here in the front um two slip pockets on the inside, same as the Transatlantique with as far as the layout goes on the inside, um, lined in a leather up here, but it, I think it's a canvas down below. So really hardy type of bag. I just, I just fell in love with it. And I think I got it, this one for 60, maybe 75 was shipping if I remember correctly from the real real. Shipping from the real real is not cheap anymore. Um, but it has a little bit of color issue right here and right here, and then discoloration at the handles from use. But um, I just got really, I don't know, just when I saw it, I was just like, this, this is the bag, this is the work bag for the summer. So, um, it, I'm going to swap out and not use the Neverfull as much for work and use this. These little side pockets are kind of funny. They're really short, but, you know, coin, purse, something small in there, um, it will work. But I'm, I'm really proud of myself, <laughs> which seems like excessively proud, but I just liked the black and white look of it. I thought it was a really nice, and the leather is just beautiful. I mean... It's squishy, but thick and just, just really nice. So I'm, I'm, I'm really liking this. I'd probably want another one of these if I can't find this in this type of leather, I'm going to go with this because I like the fact that this one has the strap, um, that just kind of helped make it more versatile. I, I wish the strap was a little bit longer. That's about the only thing I could think of, maybe a crossbody, um, since this is a shoulder strap kind of travel bag, but it, for the purpose that the strap makes sense, but yeah, I mean, it's just really nice. So I can't wait to start using that. I'm very disappointed <laughs> about crystal bag. I will, I will post an update about that. Either I'll do a short or I'll do a quick little video, um, to see how that turns out. Cause that, 
that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was not fun. So that is my haul for July. We'll see what the next month brings, but, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing much shopping. If I do, it's going to be little small things or Poshmark, eBay type of stuff. I say that and then I'm going to not do any of what I say. So yeah, <laughs> we'll check in soon. Take care of you all. Like, comment, subscribe, all those things that we love you to do. Tell me what you're into right now. Um, what pre-love bags are you scoping out there on the, on the marketplace? Did you buy that thing from the North anniversary sale? Did you have the same problem? I need to know. I, I, maybe I need to return it and just get another version of it or something, but that, yeah. All right. Take care y'all. Bye. So you're here. Dolly's over there. There's the chaos. Pickles, are you back there behind the... You guys getting ready? Gonna settle in? We've got the bag of stuff. All the things to talk about. Hey there, welcome back to my channel this week. This month. This week. Yeah, this week. I feel like I'm crooked. Oh well. I'm not professional. I'm just an amateur. We're just here to talk about shopping. So. <laughs>